Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTNHD, and today is part four of our failover cluster configuration and installation. And today we are going to tackle add file service role for our clusters. Now, the first thing that you need to do is you need to go into your both nodes. Uh, I have no one, no two, no one is going to be my primary, no two is going to be my secondary. And Within each server, you need to install the file server row. So this is what I'm going to do for both of them. So we're going to go into manage, add rows and feature. Well, we're going to hit next, next, and I don't, I'm not able to do both of them. So let's only do no one, and we're going to hit next. It'd be so cool if I'm able to do both of them at the same time. Uh, within the rows, you want to expand your file and storage services expand your file and iSCSI services and just check off file server and that's about it you can click next uh, click next and you're gonna install it if you want you can reboot your server I'm gonna do the same thing to my node 2 uh, so I'm gonna go to manage on node 2 and do the same thing and we're gonna pick that we're gonna go to next uh, expand our file storage services, expand files iSCSI services, and click file server. Click next, click next, and install. Now you really need to have the file server uh, feature or role installed into your machines before you even create your file server cluster within your manager. So let's go back into node one and see what's happening. It's going through. It's doing its thing. It looks like it's almost done. Let's go to back to node two. It looks like it hasn't started. It's starting the installation, but it takes some time. And let's go back to node one. And yes, uh, installation succeeded on node one. Awesome. Let's check node two. Installation succeeded. Let's close on this. And let's go back to node one and close that. And I'm going to minimize my server manager dashboard. And let's uh, open up our failover cluster manager. And what we're going to do is right click on rows, configure a row. Uh, you can read this if you want. Click on next and click on file server. Now, again, if you did not install the file server feature before doing this, you're going to get a nasty little error saying uh, you can't do it because file server row is not installed. Go to your server manager and install it. And the next button will not highlight. So, and that's not a good thing. So let's hit next. Uh, you guys want to do a, a file server for general uses. Uh, I think later on, if you guys are interested, I will uh, go over the scale out file server for application data. This is pretty interesting if you're uh, doing server applications or virtual machines that leave file open. Uh, this is the way to go. But for now, we're gonna do the file server for general use. And we're gonna hit next. Now we're gonna give it a name. It's really up to you what name you want to get. I'm gonna do it uh, BTN uh, FS server. It's a long one, right? BTN FS server. Say that ten times fast. And we're gonna hit next. And then from here, uh, you guys want to select uh, the disk that you want. So uh, on, select only the storage volumes that you want to assign to this cluster row. You can assign additional storage to this cluster row after you complete the wizard. So I'm going to add both of them. Why not? Let's add both of them. They're online. That's why they're there. And uh, it's going to give you a nice little confirmation of what's going to happen. That's awesome. And we are going to hit next. And it's going to start doing its thing. And it's finished. Wow, that's pretty fast. Let's pretty pretty fast I'm pretty excited about that is pretty fast and we're gonna hit finish and once you hit finish you can see right here within the rows in the middle of the the manager it looks like our new file server is uh, running it's up and running that's awesome but you're probably saying to yourself how can I store these files what to do to store these files yes this is when you guys need to add a file share. Adding a file share is so easy because it's right here on the right hand side. Uh, you go to add file share, make sure that your server is highlighted. It's running, it's doing its thing, and booyah, there you go, satisfied. Now, this is really up to you what you guys want to do. Uh, 
you could do a quick, you could do an advanced uh, applications. We're not dealing with applications. I think applications would be best if you're doing a scale out, but we're not doing a scale out. So I'm gonna do a quick one, uh, real simple, uh, quick. We're gonna hit next. And uh, yeah, there we go, select by volume. So which volume do we want? We want E or G? So let's, let's just go E for now. And we're gonna go next. And then we're gonna give it a share name. So I'm gonna give it uh, public. Let's give you public. And this is the local path of the share within the server. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys what do I mean. So let's go into my computer node. So this is the E drive. And this is where this public folder is going to be dropped in. So we're going to close that. And this is the remote path that us IT guys are going to script it into a login script and mount it to our users. Okay. Uh, later on, I'm going to show you guys how to do all that stuff like mounting this into a machine and seeing how it works. And, and I think on the last video, hopefully the last video, I'm going to show you guys how to test the cluster and make sure it's up and running and working. So from here, we're going to click next and uh, other settings. This is up to you. If you want to do enable continuous availability, I'm going to leave that as default allowing caching of the share. I'm going to leave that as default. Uh, I'm going to hit next permissions. This is really up to you. If this folder is being created for a particular department, this is where you go and start doing your security groups. Let's say you're building this folder for finance department and you only want the finance department to have access as well as the admins. This is where you remove uh, the access and add them in there. So we're going to hit next. Nice little confirmation and we're just going to hit create. Once create is done, it's real simple. It shouldn't, it shouldn't take you no more than I say a minute and we're going to hit close. And then that's it guys. We have an active uh, file share. So I'm going to do is a Windows R and I'm going to do backslash backslash BTNFS server, which is huge. And we're going to, I believe public. Let's do public. Hit the enter and there we go. And let's uh, let's create our first file. Uh, hello or hello world. That's always a famous one, right? Hello world. And there we go. Uh, let's go into our computer and go here, shares, public, and there you go. This is our main local one. Awesome. So uh, again, I think on the last video, guys, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get a machine. I'm gonna mount this share into uh, the machine. Start dropping like crazy stuff in it, and uh, we're gonna test our cluster. We're gonna like kill node one and see if node two picks it up and see how the the latency between the the failover works I, I'm, I'm pretty excited on that hopefully you guys stay tuned for that if you have any questions or comments leave them right below of the video and don't forget about hitting that like button and uh subscribe as well and i'll catch you guys later peace out